Hi, this video is on the CRM contacts page. Now, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It's all about storing your customer information, but also all the activities and interactions you have with your customer, having all of that information stored and available in one place. So this is our contacts list. You can also view a list of locations and zones by clicking in the tabs in the top left-hand corner. And on the right-hand corner, as throughout the system, you can create a new lead, import your database or create a new contact into the contacts list. On the table itself, you can see the different statuses that you can set and they're customizable for the different clients that you've got. You can also set the types of clients that you have and give them different namings to separate them and filter them. And then all, you've got all of the standard information. So I'm going to click in to have a look at one of these customers and show you what we call the client card the information about that specific customer. And this is ABC Transport's client card. And here the page is divided into three sections. You've got the contact section on the left, the communication section top right, and then underneath that you've got the activity section. So we'll have a quick look at each of those three different modules and see how they, how they work and how they fit together. First of all, in the contact section, there are four tabs, the billing details, the shipping details, people and locations. Now, in this case, the client is using the zero integration. So I can click on that and that will take me straight into the client uh, card in zero. But I can also see live the amount that's been invoiced and what's currently outstanding for that client, which is automatically syncing to the accounts module. Underneath that, we've got all of the standard details that you would record about a customer, their contact name and their billing name and their billing terms and that sort of thing. You can collect, just click the pencil and add your own custom fields. So if you want some additional information being stored about your customers, then you can just click on add additional custom field here. Uh, that might be that you want to store the client's birthday or the product that they're most interested in, that sort of thing. Completely customizable to suit your business. Contact type, again, you can just add additional fields here. You'll see the range of options that have already been added, but you can just simply add new tags to increase the options there for contact type, status, billing terms, source, and the rest. So go through those, make any changes to customize it to make it exactly as you need it for your business. All right, people for each contact, you may have multiple people. You can uh, look at and select from the list and also add new contacts for this client. And then the final tab in the contact section is locations. Now locations is much more powerful, particularly if you're using our jobs module and or our assets module. And I'll just quickly show you why. For each billing contact, and an example might be a real estate agent, you might be working with 10 or 20 or 50 or hundreds of properties underneath that estate agent. And so we call those locations. Uh, you can select from the list of locations that are stored for that client, or you can add a new location for that client by clicking on add new location. With each location, you then have three tabs, the details. And again, you can customize the information that you're collecting for locations by clicking on the edit pencil again and adding custom fields for locations. You can store notes for individual locations, things like security gate passwords or instructions to access. And you can add attachments for your different locations as well. In this case, we've got uh, a floor plan and a site plan stored for that location, which the users in the app also have access to. So a whole lot of valuable information that's being stored um, for each particular location. Now, in this instance, we've also split the location further into zones. So each individual location for a client can be further split into zones. And the value of zones is that when you're creating and dispatching jobs, you can not only specify the client and the location, but the zone within that location that the work's to be undertaken. And further, if you're using our asset management system, then when you select a job that has been specified to a location and a zone, it will bring into the form only the assets related to that particular zone at the location. Now, if those elements don't apply to you, I'm sorry, I've just wasted a little bit of your time, but I just want to explain the, the benefit of those three layers. You've got the contact at the top, multiple locations underneath that contact, and then those locations can be subdivided into zones. And all of that is interacting with the jobs module 
and with the asset management module. Okay, let's move across onto the right hand side. I can see all of the tasks, both open tasks and the task history for this client. I can see the tasks that have been done and the current status of those tasks. I can review all of the notes that have been recorded against the client, both uh, manually within the system and job related. So you can see if, if a job note was added, um, it will be restored and I can click to be taken straight to the job that that note relates to. I can very easily send email, SMS and create letters for the contact and it'll bring in automatically their contact details. Um, you can create templates which can be stored so you can very quickly send email or SMS messages straight from this page using your templates. And you can record call conversations and have those added to notes as well. So it will automatically grab the right uh, contact number of the contact that you're looking at. And when I hit start call, it will bring up the phone log. I can enter the call notes here. It will record the time, date and duration of the call. When I'm finished, I can continue adding notes. And once I've finished adding my notes, I can either just save and close that call note or create a task from the call note that I've just added. So that's calls. And then of course, history. There's a full history of every single event and transaction that's gone on with that client. So that if somebody comes in and wants to have a look, all of the details are visible uh, from the history page. On the right hand side, I can very quickly add a new lead quote, invoice job or purchase or other features by selecting the add new button on the right hand side of the page. Okay, so contacts on the left, communications top right, and then underneath that, we've got the activity panel. And this is really what distinguishes the formatized CRM from others. It's not just about the customer contact details and communications. It also brings in all of the activity that's going on with the client as well, all on one page. So the first tab is jobs. I can view all of the jobs that have been done for this client or are being done. They're split between the different job statuses. So I can look at all of the overdue jobs or even all of the recurring profiles that have been set up for this customer. Forms shows me all of the forms that have been submitted that are related to this client. I can automatically create reminders. I can upload documents like service level agreements or contracts or non-disclosures. And when I upload documents into this section, I can also set expiry reminders. So if it's a 12 month service level agreement that needs to be renewed, I can set the expiry date and Formatize will automatically send me a notification to advise that that service level agreement is approaching expiry. And I can click to view those documents. Photos will bring in all of the photos from forms submitted related to this client. So there's only one in this instance, but every single time I submit a form that has photos attached that is linked to this client, it will build this photo library for me, which is, is very powerful if you wanna build up a history of photos and images from jobs that are being done for a particular client. Leads is my sales lead pipeline. I'm recording all of the inquiries and sales opportunities for this customer. Quotes, invoices. With invoicing, I can see all of the invoices that have been created for the client and what status they're up to, whether they're paid, overdue or unpaid. In this case, it's been integrated with the accounting software Zero, so I can click to view that invoice in Zero itself or I can click and view the PDF from here in the page. And you'll see there's a status layout of the PDF. I can add photos and signatures to the invoices. I can take payment and email the client directly from here as well. So that's invoices. And uh, purchases and even assets. So if you're using the asset management module, I'm able to, without leaving the page, view all of the different assets that we're managing for this particular client and the current status. And we split assets into these different asset types so that we can view and monitor different information on each one. But again, without leaving the page, I can view all of the assets by asset type. I can even add new assets and asset types to the asset management system from this page. So a really powerful all-in-one solution all of the contact information, all of the communications and tasks that are going on, and then finally, all of the activity, the jobs and forms and asset management uh, related to that client together with the financials. So that's the contacts page of the CRM, and I'm sure it will add great value to your business. Thanks for your time.